Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I almost said Fire Emblem Awakening for a second, derp. But today we will take on another gym. Which might be hard actually because um it's the fire gym and as you can see I don't really have any Pokemon that are good against uh, fire types. Except for this. This is my secret weapon. It's an egg. But not just an egg, a magical egg. Not even that actually, but you know, we will manage. I have faith in my Pokemon. And they redesigned this gym, which is also pretty cool. So I have no clue how to do this. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Now, if I remember correctly, most of the gym uh, trainers in here don't actually have fire types, which is totally debunked right now. I do remember um, Kecleon being one of the Pokemon in here. Um, but why do I have my normal out? Um, let's go for Spagdile. Let's see if we can take some uh, some punches here. That being said, it's probably gonna be a freaking flamethrower attack. Okay, it's not. It's fine. You will leave Blade. That's like the best move we have, so yeah. That's enough. A slugma. Okay, so I was wrong. There are a lot of Pokemon in here. Especially a lot of uh, fire types. But we are strong enough. I mean, we're kind of overleveled. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Now that doesn't mean the gym will be uh, the gym leader will be any easier than than these guys because they are quite higher leveled than the normal regular trainers in the gym. In the meantime, uh, it's almost E3, so I'm quite quite hyped for that. They announced Super Mystery Dungeon, which is, first of all, not the most uh, interesting title. And I'm not really hyped for the Mystery Dungeon series anymore. They used to be very good with Explorers of Time and Darkness and Sky, but now they're just a little bit meh. You know, oh well. Ooh, Spectile is evolving. Congratulations, your swag tile evolved into Sceptile. And we want to learn Dual Shock, which is a move that didn't exist in um, Sapphire and Ruby. Which is a dragon move, I'm surprised. Now, we, we have to learn this. Because that might actually be what's gonna save us in this gym. Who knows? Who knows? Let's go up here. Right up, I mean down, apparently. We have to make sure we go up. Okay, there we go, nice. I don't. Oh, wait. Derp. Derp. That's not the big deal. You can just, uh. Oh! Get ambushed by a little guy. A little guy in a, uh... Ah, see a coughing. See, that's what I mean. That's not a fire type. But, it is a good excuse to use my, uh, new move. Which, uh, I, I don't know. Let's switch. We can't get Sceptile and not use it, right? Look at this. So majestic. You will chop. 
Wow, that animation. Ooh. That's not good. Let's do Mega Drain and hope we get a lot of HP back. Oh, that should be enough, right? Yeah, no, maybe not. No, no, it's not gonna be enough. Ripple. Oh, no, wait, it is. I can't do meth. Oh, darn. Never mind. So smart. Ah, um. Pikachu is fast. Let's use Pikachu. Uh, quick attack. I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center just to heal up and switch my party around. Because that was not a smart move. That was not a smart move indeed. See, this is gonna be trouble because I don't have any water type Pokemon. If I had a water Pokemon, this would be easy. Oh, we did actually make progress. Okay, nice. I wasn't sure because we ended up in the middle, which looked exactly the same as the entrance. But hey, we're, we're making progress. Also, I have some Pokemon waiting for me, I think. But uh, I can't pick them up right now because I want the right natures and stuff. Because I'm elitist. That's probably like the biggest downside when you discover how Pokemon actually work in Pokemon. With all the effort values and stuff, you start to become very aware of, uh, of natures and all that jazz. And it's anything but nice, trust me. So now we know all of this. We can just fall down and go up. I haven't played Pokemon in a while. Which is nice. So Going up here is just an easy way to get back uh, out of the gym. Okay, that's good. I'm also quite busy lately. Exams are coming up and all the jazz, so I decided... You know what? We did Fire Emblem not that long ago. Let's do an episode of... Uh, Pokemon. Or uh, maybe two episodes. Depends. I like to do two episodes. But who knows? Look at that. Kindler. He has a slug. Slugma is a cool Pokemon, actually. If it didn't go for normal, I should have probably picked one of these up. Because they're cool. Let's use Pursuit. Not too bad. Ah, oh, I need to keep. Flame Body is really going to wreck me, isn't it? All of the freaking flame body. Flame body be like no, no physical. Jewel chop is not a good move. Jewel chop is not a good move. And we will use a, a berry to get rid of the the burn in the next in the next turn. Never mind. In the next, uh, nothing next actually. Just after this train. There we go. Bag. Mm, medicine. No, it's not gonna be a medicine. It's here. The roast berry. There we go. I always remember which berries do what. It's pretty, it's pretty strange actually. Now we're gonna skip this one because I'm pretty sure this one is the one we need to go for. That's just smart design, you know. Making sure you have to defeat some trainers. Oh, this one has a mini tide. That's gonna be easy. That uh, reminds me of the second gym leader. Well, and the second gym in general. Where we had to uh, defeat a lot of fighting types. That was not that bad. A 
I am tempted to use Jewel Chop again. I should have kept a uh, freaking Slam. Slam was actually pretty neat. This one is kind of meh. Maybe it's alright if you combine the two. I don't know, I just like to have a move that does all damage at once because now it feels like it's a little bit less than it should be damage wise. But then again, who am I? It's gonna be a good move for a uh, Dragon Pokemon, I guess. Oh, I see, the bubbles are actually trainers. Yeah, that's interesting. Ah. Couldn't sneak past this guy. He was too smart. A strainer. With a slugma. Ah. Freaking flame body. I feel like switching, but then to who? Electra, I guess. We can't use Sceptile on Slugmoth, we have to keep that in mind. Because those scary flame body. Ooh, overheat, that's the strong move. Hopefully not too strong, okay. Nice. Let's go in for Drain Kiss. Okay, that was useless. Now, overheat becomes weaker and weaker every time it, it gets used. Which will work in our advantage. Let's use Nuzzle. I think that's like an instant paralyze. Yeah, okay. It keeps using overheat. Let's just heal up. Potion should be alright. I mean, right now his special attack is like zero, so... I don't expect him to kill me. Yeah, see? Now we can throw an attack. Let's go for Electro Ball. Nice. Should have done that right at the beginning, I guess. Not at the end. Okay, level 30, Pikachu. Kecleon, switch. We can take that. Leaf Blade. That's what I'm gonna pick. It's like my favorite move. It looks nice, it does a lot of damage, and it gets rid of the enemy. So Morth is growing up, and he got Earth Power to his arsenal, which I will get rid of Ember for. No, actually Flame Burst. I like Ember more. Which might be a stupid decision, but whatever. Earth power will be nice. And six skill. But what is bestow? That's a new move. User passes its health item to the target when the target isn't holding an item. Oh well then. Never heard of that move before. I will keep my old moves. I don't need this. Yes. There we go. Nice. That's that. I sense the gym leader coming up. Nope. I guess not yet. Maybe after this trainer, because this seems to be like the last middle platform. Is it the Slugma? No, it's a Numble. Numble is kind of weak against grass, right? I'm gonna try a Mega Drain and then see what happens. Mega Drain. Yeah, he's kind of weak against grass. Earth power. Okay, yeah, that didn't do that much. There we go.
Aha, the gym leader. Let's try. Welcome! No, wait, I mean puny trainer. Puny trainer. Why is she shouting? Oh, so she's a newbie. Newbie gym leader. Okay. Flannery. I should have switched Pokemon, so I knew this would happen. Her signature move is overheat, by the way. So maybe, if I want to use it to my advantage, I should use, um, Filmorth to take all the flame, flame, uh, overheat. Not flame burst. Overheat. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Oh, sunny day. Okay, so they're trying to boost fire type attacks. So what we will do is we will use Earth Power, our newly learned move. Aha! That's amazing. I think we have our winner right here. Filmworth will uh, save the day. Okay, now we can, we're gonna switch. I hope we can one it KO this normal with a Leaf Blade. That would be amazing. Just one leaf blade. Nice. And now we will switch back into Fillmore. This is going amazing. I was expecting a lot of problems. But uh, it seems like my strategy is working. So let's use Earth Power. Oh my god, this is amazing. Now let's hope we can survive a few of these. Oh wow, that is not... No, that's not good. That's not good. Now he's gonna use a Hyper Potion. I'm, I'm sure of that. So I'm gonna use Electra to um, paralyze him. And kind of use her as a, a shield. So she can take another overheat. So his overheat will be weaker. Or her. It's a female Torkoal, actually. There we go. Now it's slow. So now I can actually use a Drain Kiss. It's not gonna be effective, like always, but... Yeah, that move isn't strong enough to be useful. But here goes the Overheat. Which should be alright. Yeah, there we go. It's okay, Pikachu. And then we use Matang. I know that uh, Swagtile has the, the punch in the team, the real powerhouse. So I'm gonna use Matang as another shield. As well as trying to actually do damage. We might be alright. No, we aren't. Oh, he missed. Let's try a headbutt. You avoid it. gonna do some... Oh, actually, we're quite resistant. Maybe it's because his special attack lowered so much, he's rendered useless now. Curse. Curse is actually an interesting move. When used by a uh, ghost type, it has a different effect. It cuts his, his HP by half, but it also inflicts some kind of poison to you. It's not a real poison, it's like an actual curse, which damages you every turn. But for a normal type, it does something else. Uh, as demonstrated uh, a second ago, it ups some stats. But we won! That was actually surprisingly easy.
Oh, you were trying too hard. What a try art. It's okay, you can just give me the badge. Nice, look at that. That's pretty. I like the way they show the badges now and their actual pins. And Pokemon up to level 50 will, uh, will, uh, will, uh, think I'm a genie. They will, uh, they will listen to me. That's what I was trying to go for. Nice. That, and we got Overheat, which we can give to normal if I actually want that. I don't actually like that move that much. Because of the fact that you lose stats. Like, the next time you use it, the move is weaker. Oh, if it isn't, Mr. Sackhead. Team What's It, yeah. Team What's It and their mighty leader Watson. Yeah, I'm strong. The go go -goals. Okay, nice. Yeah, I beat Flannery. Ah, okay, so next up is Petalburg. Um... Mm, ye, mm. If I say yes, will I be teleported there? Probably, I'm gonna say no. Oh nice, so he's like some kind of teleport. This wasn't here in the actual game. And actually, I don't really like this. Uh, well, I don't know. It's less traveling, but it's been less like experiencing the game from the original. Uh, anyways, I have some business to do in the desert first before we uh, head out for the next gym, which we're not ready for. Just yet. I'm actually gonna check the box real quick. I know this episode is actually running a little bit long, but... Okay, so I have a Glalie and all these Pokemon. Okay, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.